Hey, it's around here. I'm excited to release a template, which is applicable if you want to sell a digital product online. And this particular sales page is what I have been personally using to get buyers directly from Facebook, meaning I have been spending my own dollars on Facebook advertising, sending people to the exact sales page that you are about to see. And this particular sales page is converting at 8% on cold traffic. There is an 11% opt-in because it's a two-step order form. And I have a cart abandonment sequence, which continues to follow up on them as the days go by to be able to get them converting. And by the way, just to give you a classic example, just yesterday, I made a sale of over $100 from this cart abandonment sequence. This cart abandonment sequence is not in this template. It's already a released template from several months ago. So if you're in my templates and guides membership, you already have access to the exact same cart abandonment sequence, which is fantastic because you don't just send somebody to buy, but you actually collect an email address, build a list, and then you got an email follow-up to be able to get sales, which is actually working as well. Now, this particular order form you're about to get, if you're in my membership, you're going to be able to click a link, download it, and it's just a one pager. It doesn't include all the upsells and downsells and all that stuff. It's actually a nine page funnel. The rest of the pages of this specific funnel has already been released last month because it's an identical funnel to my beginner's guide to email marketing funnel as well. So basically you've got nine pages, okay, of the entire funnel. And I released page number one last month for the email marketing guide. And this month I'm releasing the landing page in a day course, which is the one I've been using for Facebook ads. The rest of the funnel is actually identical. There's actually no difference in it. So you'll be able to basically connect them together. And I'll show you an over the shoulder tutorial very shortly on how to do exactly that, how to import it to your system account, how to customize it and all that. Now, for those that are not using System.io, I'm also giving you this template on a Google Doc. So you can actually follow the process, follow the steps. If you're using something else like a Jabi or WordPress or Zenla or whatever you're using, you can just follow the Google Doc instructions to actually fill in the details and stuff like that. So it's got prompts and examples and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you the template and show you how to set it up and all that stuff. So I wanted to show you the actual stats of this funnel and how it is converting. So you will actually see that because I mean, I'm including this when you're looking through here and you'll see the screenshot right here so you can take time to study it. But this is a little bit more up to date now because it's been a, uh, you know, a couple of weeks since I took the screenshot. You could see that I've earned more money here as well. And basically, so the average card value is 25.49. Uh, so basically what that means is that for every buyer, this is the average amount of money that I earn per customer who is going through this entire funnel. Now, the page that you're getting this template is just this one page. Now, what about these pages? Well, these are actually included already in this template, which is A to Z sales funnel, including landing page, SLO, upsells, downsell, and affiliate. So this entire funnel, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, basically one, two, three, four, five, and six, all of these is the exact identical funnel to what you see right here. It's actually the same. I use the exact same thing. The only difference is that the front end, the first page is what is changing basically. So what you want to do when I share this link with you is you're going to basically have this one page and you're going to also grab this template at the same time. And then you're going to combine them together basically. So that's how you're going to do that. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Basically, you're going to click right here and click on move and move it over to the destination funnel that you want. Okay. So that's how you would go about that. Now let's uh, look at the stats. So on the stats as well, notice that it's 11% conversion on opt-in. And this is important to note uh, because you have also this template, which is the cart abandonment email sequence, which is also available in the membership. And it's going to be included as well. And there's a full tech tutorial and checklist on how to set that up. So 11% opt-in. And then lastly, you've got 8% conversion, which is basically how many buyers Okay, so if you have 100 people visit the page, eight of them actually made a purchase. And this is going on Facebook ads to cold traffic. Now, let me show you uh, additional things you need to be aware of. This is the actual sales page that this is based on. So you can actually pause this video if you want to model that yourself, or you could just join the membership and get this installed into your account with one click. 
Now, notice that there is different FAQ here as well. And notice that there is this widget right here. This is actually done using a software called ElfSite. If you go to our run.link forward slash ElfSite, that's the software that I use to embed all these templates, which directly pulls in the information from my Facebook business page. So I want to show you the Google Doc now, which is where the template is going to be found. So when you hover to the template, you'll see a few things. First of all, you see the Google Doc template. When you click on it, it's going to pop up like this. And you simply need to click on make a copy. And then it will create a copy for you. And the page you're going to see is this one. Now here you're going to find table of content and you will see section by section what you need to create. So for example, this section on the red, which is the attention slash announcement bar, you're going to basically want to put your ideal customer. And you're going to type this in then section number two attention grabbing headline so get your result for the ideal customer and then you could do a sales video if you want as well that's something that's optional and then this is an example of what i had on a page then you need to copy for the bullet points one sentence on what it is they're getting exactly few bullet points and the exact cta here is an example of what that looks like in my case so this is very good copy that's obviously done well it's a very good copy i mean it's it's converting right so you want to do the same thing for your offer and and type it in here basically okay then the next part is the payment so you've got this is the example and then this is the payment option and you want to put these bullets is going to replace what's in here now you'll notice that there's then an order bump which is this one this is an example and this is some instructions on what you want to say what you want to say then you've got the two choices routes not ready no problem i'll give you more information uh, the hard way and the easy way. And then you replace this text and this text, basically. And then you could see here's an example of what that looks like. Then the solution to the problem, headline, start to get X, Y, Z results, okay? Subheadline, focusing on a time frame and what's included and a subheadline on what's not required. One, two, three. Introducing product mockup, which is this one. And again, I have a template for the product mockup in the membership as well. So you'll be able to customize this as well because I've got a template for that. Uh, a graphic for the course, text for the ECTA, and so on. Then you've got testimonials. Note that I use ElfSite. Testimonials can be text or a case study or video or whatever it is you want it to be. Then you got bonuses, bonus one, two, three. And you can see the way I have it, it's the, the name, the text, and then the banner, basically, okay? And you can add more if you want. And then you wanna put call to action after the bonuses. So this is an example of one bonus, and then you will see it on the sales page, you will see that there is other bonuses that I'm including. So if you're to scroll up and click here and actually look at the sales page, you will notice the bonuses section in my case has three bonuses, one, two, three, and then a call to action button. Then you've got the guarantee button, like this one. Again, the guarantee buttons, I have this as a Canva template in the membership as well. So that's that, the guarantee icons, okay? Then you got frequently asked questions, which again, I have a template for that as well in the membership too. So you'll be able to customize that. And then testimonials again, PS section, and so on. So you can fill in the details in the Google Doc in case you're using something else. And otherwise, this will be something that you can customize directly into the sales page in the system. So that's what that looks like. So there you go. That's about it. This is the template. If you are in my templates and guides membership already, which is 99 a year, you have access to this and the back end of the members area already go to a run.link forward slash login you'll be able to access it it's already there available for you if you're watching this on my youtube channel and you're not part of my membership go to erantemplates.com forward slash membership to learn more about it love to have you in the membership as well